Hi, my name is Start and I need a kidney transplant. Last year at the age of 36, I was diagnosed with stage 5 kidney failure and I had to be put on dialysis right away. After doing a biopsy, um, we discovered that I have IgA nef nephropathy, which is an autoimmune disease. Um, my dialysis that I do is peritoneal. I get to do my dialysis at home. But the, and it has been challenging. I never thought I would depend my life on a machine. It has, it's very hard because I have to be on the machine every night, 10 to 11 hours. And sometimes I have pain because the catheter has moved or um, I wake up with blood in the bag and I hope that I don't have an infection. This has changed my family life in a number of ways. We had to convert our second bedroom into my bedroom because of my cycler, my machine makes noise, as well as uh, sometimes I have a pain when I am draining because the catheter has moved and I sit up or some change positions or move around to stop the pain or until the cycler stops draining. I have limited my work hours at work uh, because I get fatigued and I get tired easily. I don't, I used to do a lot of hiking. I don't do that anymore because it tires me out. And I have two dogs that I love to walk, and so we do round walking around the block. And then when we're done, I, ha I have to come um, and sit down. And sometimes I feel so tired that someone else has to walk them. And that's been hard, depending on, on others. If I didn't have to be on dialysis, that would mean that my husband and I will be trying to have our child. <laughs> because that's been what we've been wanting for the past three years. And I'm a teacher, so I would like to go back full-time to teaching, as well as to get what I want, which is my own children. I'm nervous about telling people about my health problems because they look at me and they see a healthy person, because I look healthy on the outside but not on the inside, because I have two kidneys that are no longer functioning. My doctors have told me that I could get a living kidney transplant, which would mean, one, I don't have to be attached to a machine for 10 to 11 hours a night. It could also mean that I can try to have my own children as well as be able to do what normal people do, to work full-time, to travel, and live life. The most reassuring thing I've learned about living kidney donation is that, that the person um, gets to save a life and that you're giving someone a chance to get there and that it doesn't harm the donor. I had my director, one of my boss, donate her kidney to her brother. And she is doing great. And she stated that it was the best decision that she made that she got to save her brother's life. I am excited about the possibility of living donation because it will help me get my wish, and that is to experience pregnancy and give birth to my and my husband's child, children, or at least one child at least. I'm also scared that I get the kidney and it fails, and or I'll never get it, and I will not 
get my wish. That's one of the scariest things. To date, my sister and a person I've never met, my husband's co-worker, were matched but denied to be a match. A match is someone who has blood similar enough to my blood that the transplant could work. What I want more than anything is to find someone who will be generous enough to donate a kidney so that I may be able to not live off of a machine as well as eventually, if I'm well enough, to have a child. I'm making this video to share because I still hope to find a generous person who is a kidney match. Thank you.